This tutorial is part of Judith Sepp's tightly focused, no-nonsense, make money online right now step-by-step -step guide and is available in full resolution at howtomakeyourmoneyonline.com. In our last tutorial we learned how to personalize your free website template. In this tutorial we are going to show you some basic Dreamweaver concepts. Now when we open Dreamweaver, on the right hand side we have access to the files included in your website template package. Now the index.html file is the home page for your website. If somebody simply types in your domain name, this is the file that will first appear to them. Now if we double click on that file, we can see the editing area for Dreamweaver. Now there are actually three editing views in Dreamweaver. Right now we're on the design view. If you look in the upper left hand corner you'll see that the word design is highlighted. I can click on code to the far left and I can actually view the HTML code that makes this page appear the way that it does. If you understand HTML code this is where you'll go to make small changes if Dreamweaver isn't giving you exactly the look that you want. Now clicking on split between code and design gives you a split code and design view. The coding window at the top and the design window at the bottom. Sometimes you'll open a file and because you were in code view last you'll simply see the code. All you have to do to get back into design view is to click on design. You can also click on the little double arrow in the dark gray area on the right hand side of Dreamweaver to shrink the right hand side down and give you more editing room. Now Dreamweaver behaves in design view very much like a word processor. If I click here where it says your home page heading and I make sure that I'm on the HTML properties tab down here in the lower left I can see that the format for this line is heading 1. Headings are very important for the search engines because headings tell the search engines what the focus of your page is about. Now I'm going to change this to customize it. And then I can simply go to the line below and start writing my new content. Now just like a standard word processor, I can select a word and click on bold or select a few words and click on italic. It's as simple as that to make small visual changes to your text. Now if I add a new line, I can leave it as a paragraph or I can go down here to format and choose any of the heading styles that are predefined with the template to add structure to the document. There are six predefined heading levels. If you're on a heading line, if you hit enter, the next level down will be a paragraph. Now for each level of heading, we've also defined a class for a content level. So here I have put in a heading level six, and if I change the paragraph to have a class of content level six, you'll see that it indents to match up with that heading level. If I then decided that I wanted to change that heading level to say a heading level 3, my text below would be indented too far. I could change that also to a content level 3. Now if I'd like to insert a picture, I can click on insert and click on image 
and if you've saved the picture in your images folder I can double click on that folder select the image and click OK now Dreamweaver will prompt you for alternate text and since this is something that the search engines love you to have it's a good thing to type it in click OK and there's your image now if you click to the right of the image and hit enter you'll drop down a line and then you can begin adding additional content for example we can add lists type a few lines select them and click for example on unordered list and you'll get a nice bulleted list if you want to indent one of the items on that list to a sub-level click on text indent and it will drop down to the next level to bring something from a lower level up simply click on text outdent and it goes back up a level you can select the same lines and choose ordered list if you prefer the list to be numbered now when you want to finish a list hit enter twice after the last item and you'll be brought back in to the paragraph format now if we expand our file section to the right so that we can see our file area and if we select some text for example here the words a link you'll see here under properties that there's a link field instead of typing in the file name which is uh, a process prone to error click on the little point to file target and hold with your left mouse button and drag a line over to your file list now any file or image that you point to on this side is going to appear in the link field when you let go okay so that's how simple it is to create a link to a document if you want to get rid of the link click anywhere on the linked text select the code under link in the properties field and hit the delete key on your keyboard now when you click back up into the editing window that link will disappear so you can see that basic editing in Dreamweaver is really as simple as using a word processor this has been just one of a series of related tutorials available through Judith Sepp's tightly focused no-nonsense make money online right now step-by-step -step guide if you have not already done so please join us for more at howtomakeyourmoneyonline.com